Chris Orm's the name, Smart Home is the game. Today I'm gonna be reviewing my favorite Smart Home accessory, and that's the flick button. These add physical control that I can run different sort of scenes, automations, and basically control all elements of my smart home just based on one button. Flick is a Swedish company and they make extremely high quality products. The only knock that I'll say is that the price is a little bit intimidating at first and that you do need a home hub to have the Flick buttons work. But they work with all major smart home ecosystems, including Apple HomeKit natively, which is where I use them in my home. The Flick buttons are awesome. They come in different colors. They come in white and they come in a special edition black, but they also come with some stickers that you can put on top of them to really customize these buttons. And one of my favorite features to the flick buttons is that they have a 3M sticky tape on the back. So literally below my desk here, I have the flick button that controls my studio setup. So it controls this light, it controls my ring light, my LED strip, things like that, just so I can activate my studio all with just the push of one button rather than having to turn on each device one by one. So I use it in my office for that. I use it in my room to turn on lights and turn off those lights. I do it for a living room scene as well as an all off in my kitchen scene. So, all right, so we're here in my room and I'm gonna do a demonstration of the flick button. So we're gonna double tap to turn it off, single tap to turn it on and hold down to turn the lights magenta. And keep in mind folks that this is controlling three different sets of lights all via the power of one flick button. How cool is that? I love the flick buttons compared to other products. So prior to the flick buttons being in my life, I would recommend the Acara button because the Acara button is a great product for $25. You can do almost the same exact things as the flick buttons. But I also had an Eve button that's double the price and I didn't have a great experience with it overall. With the flick buttons, you can command three different types of commands. The single press, the double press, and the long press. So I usually have it as the single press to turn lights on, the double press to turn lights off, and then I'll kind of do a custom routine or scene or control different things using a hold button. So for instance, let's say I wanted to turn the lights on in my room using the on button. Let's say I wanted to turn them off using the double tap. And let's say I wanted them to go to a different color when I held it down. That's basically how I have it set up in my room. The flick buttons are cool because they're just such a great size. They have a great feeling to them. They have a great clickiness when you push on them. And really, they're a high quality product. Most products I buy, I have issues getting them either synced into HomeKit, running the automations, failing from time to time, no response errors. But I have had absolutely zero issues with the flick buttons, which is incredible. So that's why I really have nothing but positive things to say about the flick button. Um, I would recommend them to a friend. I use them in my smart home. They're great for running different scenes and automation. So I think it's super cool that you can basically run your smart home using the power of one button. So that's how I'm using the flick buttons in my home. So let me see how you're using the flick buttons in your home. I'll drop a link down below where you can purchase some flick buttons. I bought the starter kit. So I have four buttons and the home hub and the stickers that come along with it. And that's what you come with for the starter kit. Everything's easy to use, set up, all of that. And really, I have nothing but positive things to say about the flick button. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I, I post smart home content here weekly, and I hope you guys come along for the ride. Consider liking, subscribing, follow me on Instagram if you want more, and visit us at chrisorm.com if you want to learn more. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.